Hi guys, welcome back to another Tag Tuesday. So today I decided that I wanted to use up a lot of the items that I had been hauling um, just to kind of play around with it just to see what I could come up with. And I came up with a really pretty tag that I wanted to share with you guys today. So if you remember, I had hauled these from Timu and these are the really pretty papers that kind of have like the crackling in it. And I just thought, you know what, let's give them a try. Um, because I have three of each uh, pattern, I thought, you know what, we can spare a few. <laughs> so I brought these out. I'm also going to be using, remember this little die that I thought that it was going to be a whole lot bigger? Well, it comes in really handy for tags. So we're gonna be using this as well. I had also hauled these, and these are all from Timu. And these are just little green, like wreath looking things. And so I brought these out, wanting to play with these too. So that's these. I also brought this out. This was a gift um, from D in a Happy Mail and I hadn't played with it yet and so I'm excited that we're playing with it. We're using this smaller one so we'll be using that. I also am taking out the patinas and the waxes and so if you remember I have this one in the metallic black sorry then we have this one in the turquoise and then this one is the patina in shadow. And so I brought these out because I wanted to play with those. Now I do have my glass mat out because we're going to be using the crackle paste and I want to be able to um, dry it with my heat gun and not worry about warping my mat. And so I'm using that. And I'm also using, because we're going to be layering the butterflies. So here they are cut out. I have the top layer, later, top layer cut in black cardstock. And then I actually cut the base of the butterfly in this, um, I forgot what it's called. But it's paper that I got from Parchment. It's supposed it's a cardstock, but it's called parchment because it has like that look to it. And I got this pack from Hobby Lobby. And so we're going to be watercoloring this. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. So I have my watercolors out. And then I also have one of my um water brushes already filled, ready to go. And um, if you want to add a ribbon, if you want to add stickers, um, I also brought out this roll of stickers that um, Dee also gifted to me. I have some washies that I thought we might be able to use. So I'm just, I just kind of grabbed a little bit of everything. I also have my rub-ons. So we'll see. Oh, and definitely my stencils. But I did say that we were going to use this one, but I have something else in mind. And so I need something, um, I need something else to make the type of uh, tag that I wanna do. So I'm gonna keep this for next Tuesday. So we're gonna have to put that one on hold. So I just took out tags that I've already had pre-cut. I have this little note thing here because of the glare, because it's glass. And so I tried to kind of <laughs> block that from your eyes but yeah these are the ones that I got from uh, I was gonna say Stamperia um, Craftelier that I recently hauled actually it was yesterday's haul and then also the um, patina and the wax these are also new from my um, my haul from yesterday so if you didn't watch that one I'll link it down below so that you guys can take a look this one I did get from Timu, so I just brought that out because it's new and I wanted to play. Um, so let's get started. I already cut out, well, I kind of ripped along the edges of one of the purple papers. And you can see here that I have already used the die to, um, the little brick die to cut 
on the inside and I thought maybe this one might, might be better so that you can kind of see the die, um, the cut on the inside better. And so we're gonna use this one for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of, because I know that I wanna use crackle paste, I'm not gonna ink around it because I'm gonna put crackle paste around that. And if I do, then it's going to kind of bleed out and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna get my glue and I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down. And so I'm gonna glue all the way around this and I've already pre-cut more of a ripping, but I wanted to make sure that I had this already because of the process that we're going to be doing with this with the crackle paste and the water brush um, the watercolors the water paints and so I'm going to put that here and then we'll ink around what we need to afterwards but for right now I'm thinking what do I want to use maybe we can use this one because it has like a little bit of this writing so that might be pretty to put like on the sides somewhere you know what I mean so let's do that you can see that the outer side of my crackle paste is kind of getting a little that might be too much it's getting a little dry, so I thought it might be better for me to use this so that I could, um, cleanup would be easier. So let's put this down here. Let me put this more in the middle. And just kind of... Put this here. And then I do a little bit up here. Let's do just little swirlies up here. And maybe I'm trying to think before I take it off. Let's do a little bit over here. Let's just bring that one down. Sometimes I forget that I need to speak a little bit louder, so I'm sorry. It's like I'm talking to myself, because technically I am. <laughs> it's just kind of weird for me to have to talk louder, so. Okay, I think that's good. So let's see how that looks. Come on. Ooh. Cool. Okay, I have my wipe ready to just kind of wipe this down and then I'll run it through warm water later once we're done. So just for now, so that it doesn't get too hard to wash off later. I'm not worried about the back of my tag getting dirty because who cares, right? So let's go ahead and just wipe that down. Then I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and crackle that up. So let me warm, let me warm it. Let me dry this off. that's done so doesn't that look cool but we're going to highlight it so let me close this let me clean this off 
close this up. I'm gonna put that off to the side. And then, let's see, what do I wanna use? Let's use this, the shadow. And so I'm just using my finger. I'm just gonna go in with my finger, rub a little bit on, and then kind of highlight the little crackles on this. Ooh, I love that. It's just enough to kind of make it look a little bit aged. So this is gonna look super cool. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. I feel like I have more control when I use my fingers, so we're gonna get dirty today. Oh yeah, even the letters, the words in here looks so much better. Of course, because it's crackled and because I've noticed that on my other tags that I've used the crackle paste on, you kind of have to be very gentle when you, um, when you rub this in because, probably because I try to kind of rush in and I didn't give it really a, a, enough time, I guess, maybe to um, dry completely but I was kind of rubbing off some of the, the crackling. So you just kind of have to be careful with that. Ooh, but I like that a lot. Now let's see, can I go in and just kind of darken up the edges here? Let me just darken this up just a tiny bit. Kind of buff that in a little bit. It's very creamy. I love the way it feels. So I'm just buffing the edges of the paper out. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? I love that. Okay, so we're done with that. Let me wipe off my finger. Now we're gonna decorate. So now I can go ahead and I'm gonna use my ground espresso and I'm just going to cover up the white edges. Because this paper's already dark, so I'm not really worried too much about really inking the edges. I just want to get rid of that white. So now, let's see what we want to use. Let's decorate a little bit, maybe around with some of the rub-ons. So let's see what we want to put on this one. When I first bought this, I kept thinking, you know what, it's not going to last me very long because I love using this stuff, but it's actually been working out pretty well. We can do like the lost and found, field notes. Let's do some of these up here. So we'll do field notes. Maybe up at the top right up here. Let me get my little what is that? My my bone folder? Where is it at? Oh, here it is. I was wondering where this was. 
So we'll just kind of rub this in a little bit. It's a little off to the side, but that's okay. Take that off. Oh yeah, I like that. I think I need something here. So let's see what else. This is just the empty part. Let's see. Um, I'm kind of wanting that, these big numbers here. Or we can put, I always try to go for things that are on the edge so that I don't have to cut into and cut into it too much and then get a lot a lot of little pieces. So, you know, just make it work. So there's this one. Put that about here. I guess I could use the back of this instead. You know, me and my tweezers can't live without them. So as usual, I will be um, linking what I can down below of all the supplies that I'm using. So in case anyone's interested, also the things that I purchased from Timu, I will link those um, items as well. Uh, I think I still want something down here. So let's put, um, I guess we could put like number three or what's this? Let's do this. I don't know what this says. Square. Is that an SQ and then the, the numbers? So let's just cut these out. And then we can put that down here. But I think I'm gonna put it off to the side, like standing this way. Yeah, I like that. Just to kind of fill in the little spots that need a little something. And the other ones you'll see once I um, show you after I'm done with this. I can show you the other ones and how I decorated those. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now we're going to set this aside and we're going to work on the... I have that still. Let me put this off to the side. Now we're going to be working on the watercolors. So let's get out our watercolors. Let me try and I'm trying not to let too much of the come on. I don't know why I always have a hard time opening this thing when it's so easy. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to get out my little water brush and I don't know I don't I don't paint so this is just how I do it I'm just gonna clean it off just a tiny bit and then I add just a little bit of little bit of drops of water here and then I want it to kind of match this so I think I'm gonna do purples and browns so um, I don't know, is this purple or is this like a blue? Blue might be pretty too, it's blue. Ooh, maybe what, what if we do purple and blue? That might be pretty, right? So I'm gonna end up kind of cutting, or cutting around it. Ooh, that's pretty. So we're just going to kind of, the good thing about this is that it doesn't really matter. And then we'll do maybe 
this purple and then put this off to the side here it's pretty too I think I want it a little bit darker though today's rainy day but it's kind of a good thing though because my husband gets really bad allergies with all that pollen here in Georgia oh my gosh the pollen here is crazy you get layers of it <laughs> all over the place now I'm an LA girl born and raised right so I'm not used to <laughs> seeing all this pollen everywhere and it's crazy and I'm like what in the world is happening Ooh, let's do a little bit of this turquoise and so yeah so I'm like I don't understand what's going on there's a lot of purple left on this so let me clean that up and then just clean off my brush and then we're gonna go in I love these water brushes but anyway I'm um yeah, I'm not used to seeing all this pollen, so luckily I don't get allergies, but my husband does, and it gets really bad to where he has to wear those face masks like we used in during COVID. He has to use those when he goes outside because the pollen gets so bad. So I guess right now, Everybody's welcoming the rain to kind of wash away some of that pollen. Isn't that pretty? I love this. So just trying to kind of cover up all of the little edges. All right. I think that's good. So let me clean this off. Then we'll dry that up. And then we'll glue... We'll glue it on so let me get this cleaned up okay so let's dry this off Perfect. Now we're going to see the end result. So let's put glue all on the back of this. Hopefully, yeah, I didn't close this off so it plugged up on me a little bit. Yeah, that was my fault. I should have known better. So let's just add my pin in so that I could unclog it. And now I'm just going to be putting dots of glue all around it because this piece is so intricate, but I love it. And it's so easy to, um, to take off the little pieces once you die cut it. So very easy peasy. So we're just going to do this, trying to get all the little corners, I think that's good. And then we're going to put this down and then I'll end up cutting around it because I don't want that border there. But wow, look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, if you don't want to watch me cut around this, fussy cut it, then you can fast forward. But I just like the way it looks better once I cut around it. And it doesn't take me long. 
It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just like the way it looks better. Because we're actually going to try to make this look more like a 3D effect. And so we are going to try to kind of fluff out the wings a little bit. So it's not going to lay flat on the tag is what I'm saying. But I was happy to be able to use this. So thank you, Dee, for this die set because this is beautiful. The other one that I have, it doesn't show the butterflies flat like this. And so this is really a beautiful set. So I'm excited that I was able to use this today. So almost done, almost done. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted the black to be the border and not the watercolor paper behind it. So just cutting out the body. And there it is. Throw that away. See, doesn't that look so much better? So now we're gonna make, even though it's a butterfly, but we're gonna make it kind of sitting in a nest. <laughs> I know that it would have been better to do a, a bird, but see, we're just, all I did was I pressed against where the body is and lifted up the wings a little bit on both sides just so that it sits up like this. So now let's figure out where I want to put my little butterfly. And let's see, which ones of these do I want to use? Mm, do I want to use green or the taupey? Let's see. I think I want to use like this taupey color, but I think I want, yeah, something like, oh, there's even the, I forgot that there was one of those. Uh, let's see, is it this way? Where should I put her? No, I need a smaller one. I think that's the smallest one I have. I do have this one in the green or this one in the beige. So let's see. Oh, what if I put her down here? Let's ink up this a little bit so it's not so bright. Just using whatever ink I already had on my dauber. Okay, so we'll use this, and then I'm taking out some of my cheesecloth, and I'm not going to ink the cheesecloth. I like the way it looks like this, and so I'm just going to cut a piece, and then I'm going to go to town and rip it, and just kind of make it look like if it's shredded. I just want it to look very stringy. And instead of gluing it, because it's going to have so many layers underneath it, what I want to do is what, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my stapler. And so, see, doesn't that look cool? So we'll put this here. Should I put it on top? Kind of like this. And then put this here. All right. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm debating now because of the fact that I don't know if I'm going to be able to stick this down but let's try it i'm going to put a lot of glue on the little leaves here 
and see if that'll kind of help stick it down a little bit at least. And then we'll staple down the um, cheesecloth along with the butterfly. So let's see how we could do this. Hold it down just for a second, see if that'll grab. And then this will go here and I'm going to get out my stapler and this is just my regular my regular stapler because it fits and it reaches so I'm gonna do this let me kind of flatten out the back And then fluff that back up and I'm going to get because this top layer is black I'm gonna just get my Sharpie and color that black in and there's that isn't that pretty oh my gosh okay let's put some type of little um, eyelet. I reorganized my eyelets. Do you remember I got this little organizer thing from Timu? I did it to where I think I want one of these big ones. Yeah, let's do one of these big ones. Oh, it's this way. Do I want black? Let's do black. Oops. Well, that was a fail. I'll pick those up later. And getting out my crocodile. We'll put this in. So let me, it's this way. Let me unlock it. Darn it, I think I'm gonna end up, well, let's put it, yeah. It's gonna cover up my little field note. But that's okay. Put it right here. It's gonna cover a little bit of that. Yeah, that's all right. And then let's just press this closed. So there's that. And then let's figure out, see if I have, um, what if we did brown? Uh, let's do this brown more of a chocolate brown I got this from Hobby Lobby when it was on clearance so I just need a little piece I don't want it to be too long so we'll do about there put this in And then pull that through. Now I gotta try to tighten this up without tearing it. So there, there it is. Oh my gosh. There it is, you guys. See, isn't that too pretty? So I think we're just gonna do one. I don't wanna take too long. I'm gonna show you the other ones I made. So here's this one that we just made. And then there's this one. And this one I used the uh, turquoise uh, wax to kind of highlight the crackle paste and this is one of the green papers and then these are just little washi stickers and behind here you could see i used some of the dies uh, the die cuts that we did with the um, tags from last week uh, when we did the negatives 
So this is the positive part of those. And so I just added that in here. And then here's this purple. Now this one is the size of that new um, tag die that I bought from Craftelier. And so there's this one. And the last one is this one. Again, I used the the positive side of the, um, I think it's like, like a pocket watch die from the, um, the steampunk mouse, the die set that I have. So I use that. And then this is this sticker that um, Dee gave me. And so I used that there and then I used one of my new stencils. And then again, this is the honeycomb positive part of the die that we used from last week so just using up my stash so isn't that fun so this I just used the crackle paste and I just kind of scraped it all over I used a little bit of both the um, shadow patina and the turquoise wax to just kind of highlight a little bit you can see a little bit of that sheen from the turquoise wax so I use that one on this big purple one. And then we're going to call, okay. We're going to name these so that you can tell me which one's your favorite. So here's the green tag. Okay. Here is going to be the purple tag. This one we're going to call our orange because of the orange butterfly. And then this one we're just going to call, what should we call it, our brown. The one we made right now. So I thought they were really pretty. I love them. I think that they're so much fun. So I hope you guys liked it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And um, I'll see you in the next video. So thanks guys and don't forget, I do have all my links down below. I have my contact email, I have my um, my Etsy. I don't have anything posted on there yet. Um, I'm hoping, and I've been saying this forever, but I'm hoping to get a new Dangle collection out. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and I know that a lot of you have been favoriting my shop, so thank you for that. So you'll be notified as soon as I do start posting or listing anything there. So there's that. I also have my Amazon storefront, and I'm in the process of trying to reorganize that so that it's a little bit more, um, I guess the categories are a little bit smaller. Um, so there you get, you know, a better, a better category of what you're looking at instead of something very generic very basic so but all my all my links to um a lot of the things that i use in case anybody's interested um a lot of the things that i use i have it linked in my amazon storefront and it doesn't cost you anything to use that um it does it does give me if you decide to purchase through my link it does give me a little bit of commission through amazon but it doesn't cost you anything extra so that's nothing that you have to worry about and um i also have my buy me a coffee link down below and i i have been having a couple of you um recently that have bought me coffees which doesn't mean that you're actually buying me a coffee but it just it, you're just donating to my channel just to kind of help out so that i can bring you more content um using more pretty supplies so that's it guys thanks so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys